咁就今日我哋嚟到呢度示威，其實都係反集啦。習近平呢個咁嘅統治者實太過分。呃、除咗係不斷咁更改我哋嗰啲香港嘅法例啦，一國兩制完全係俾佢破壞之外，仲有今日我哋有大量嘅人咧，就係、是、包括有、呃、西藏人啦，有新疆人啦，同埋有台灣人啦，同埋有、呃、大陸嚟嘅人，不斷咁樣俾佢打壓，不斷咁樣俾佢欺凌。我哋覺得佢太過分，然之後我哋亦都想同呢、这個、呃、美國總統拜登講，錢係重要，但係人命更加重要。我哋香港人都自由嘛？啊，咁當然係啦，我哋香港大嘅，咁我哋見到過去即係簡單啲嚟講啦，就係、是、香港呢個一國兩制咧，其實咧就自呢個西藏開始，至到香港都係唔會入嘅。咁而家係一個少少嘅警惕，係俾嚟緊嘅台灣睇到，就係話唔好深信呢樣嘢。It's a false promise, it will never come true. 咁、嗯、我嚟都係即係支持一下，同埋希望聯繫、呃、所有。老實講，即係誒喺呢個上天睇落嚟咧，我哋其實係誒唔論不論係西藏啊、維吾爾啊、香港人，我哋其實都好似一家人咁樣。其實應該係要團結一致，對抗抵抗呢個共黨呢、這個啊、呃、真相。香港，你對香港的前途怎麼看？香港現在就是流散民族很多。就是我们有几十万的香港人离开了香港，但是我们的民主运动不会完，因为在海外我们还在努力。就像今天在三藩市，我们也有很多的啊、呃、香港人出席，在英国、在加拿大，或者是在澳洲，也有很多香港人其实还在为香港的人权持续努力。那么今天习近平来，你们有什么要求呢？有什么诉求？我们除了跟。除了就是要求香港的啊、呃、民主还有人权以外，还有就是废除那个国安法以外，就是我们跟西藏还有维吾尔的啊啊、呃呃、盟友盟友一起，就是希望我们的土地也可以获得到解放，还有就是中国不要再打压我们的人权还有我们的自由。好，谢谢谢谢,谢谢，你说的太好了，谢谢啊。The United States meeting with President of the United States was 2017. 2017 for Hong Kongers were totally like a lifetime ago. When it was 2017 in Hong Kong, we had a few political prisoners, but we never imagined having 1,700 political prisoners in Hong Kong. And we still believe one day we'll still be this autonomous uh, Hong Kong city. We would still have one country, two systems. We would still have the independent judiciary system. But today, we're not seeing that. Over the past seven years, everything has changed around the world. We are seeing millions of Uyghurs locked into concentration camps, and they're still in concentration camps today. And over the past seven years, we are seeing millions of Tibetan children being forced to enroll in Tibetan boarding schools, being forced to speak a language uh, uh, that are different from Tibetan, and being made a crime that they're speaking Tibetans. And over the past seven years, we have seen thousands of uh, Hong Kongers fleeing Hong Kong because of political persecution. And that's why today here we're joined today, you know, with Uyghurs, Tibetans, Hong Kongers walking together because we're fighting the same fight. We're fighting against Xi Jinping. We're fighting against the Chinese Communist Party. But how long do we have to wait until the world wake up to see what a dictator Xi Jinping is and what a liar the Chinese Communist Party is and right now as we are marching here as we're gathering here Xi Jinping is meeting Biden in the United States because Biden
Biden wants to make some deals with Xi Jinping, and the U.S. government wants to make some deals with the Chinese government. They are not realizing yet that Chinese government is not to be trusted. If Chinese government is to be trusted, we will not be here away, away from our homeland, away from our loved ones, away from our parents, our family, our children, just because the Chinese Communist Party is determined to erase our culture. Also to, also to the U.S. and the U.K. government and also all the governments from the free country that we are standing here to be together to fight against the ty tyranny, to fight against the autocracies. It's not a thing that how we work for a cause or we protest for a cause. It's personal. We have friends, we have families back in our home be being locked in jail. We have colleagues who are in prison for years and years just because they they protest for us. They strive for freedom for us. We are here standing on a free land, on a free host countries just because they protest for us. They are being trapped in jail for us. It's always painful for me to see the pictures of my friends, my close friends, my close colleagues. Just two years ago we were having fun, we were having, we were having dinner together in Hong Kong, in our beloved home. But now they are in jail and we are in exile. It's always painful, it's personal. It's not, it's not just for work for something. We want the world to know that it is not a cause that a human rights token for them to, you know, to speak out for us, but we are leaving people that we have friends suffering, being tortured, being separated from their families. So I'm here, I flew all the way from London to here, San Francisco, wanted to show solidarity with everyone. So we thank the Tibetans and Uyghurs families for standing with Hong Kongers as well. We don't have so many people here today, but we have people all around the world showing that we are not stepping back.